purpose of that various limitation. values. Various values. We can't continue like this. And we have our national We're rudderless ship. Mm. We are rudderless ship. Rudderless. We need to, right. and we can't sit back and do nothing. Yeah. I've said we are going to devote one week, you know, to values, and then now that you brought, we might even extend it because the education of children is also key. It is. It is. Next thing we are going to be doing, we are going to be producing high tech robots. Robots that will be robots that will be vast. The kids will be vast and pressing everything inside. But deep thinking will not be in tune. They will not be in tune. They're in so much of a hurry. You're, you're very correct. Four-year-old needs to carry a laptop to nursery for what? <laughs> they, they do homework on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, I remember what. Sometimes that's why I keep my mouth shut when I'm not sure. I remember one time I was saying that kids should be sent to schools where they can wash their clothes. They say, ah, I'll go to me. I watch my shit. I watch my shit. Although you can still teach them, you know, a little not because see, they need to hand wash all their lives, but just so see we need you know. we, we, we need a, a think tank to run this country and begin to revalue all the processes. And one of our problems yeah. is that we're on a race with uh, with Western countries and yes. we need to develop something that's look at, indigenous. Look to at Russia. the issue of polytechnics and universities. After deep thinking, you realize that you need more polytechnics and universities. Yes, actually. Practical teaching. Practical teaching. But I hear now, that, and I'm even, I can't understand it, the um, Polytechnic of Ibado. I hear they don't teach them very well anymore. I have a, uh, someone who's there. Who, who is taught well anywhere? Yeah, but that school used to be really good. It, 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 do you think... Even, the lecturers don't come to even, class. Even the University of Lagos that I went cannot be the same. And it can't be the same. <sighs> Oh, no. It's not a function of. It's, it's not isolated to that area. Mm. It's general. So what do what happens? The elites take care of themselves. Now all these universities are on strike. Mm. The private universities are they're, functioning. They're working. All the elite, rule, all the pump sex, they send their kids there. So it's up to nuns. <laughs> I'm not going to teach you what to do, but it's up to you if you will sit back and allow people play what and ludo. And snakes and ladders with your with with, with, your, with your education. It's up to you. Talking of which, I need to go and buy snake snake and ladder. It don't tell you what I'm Yes. But I will play it one day. Let's play. <laughs> snake <laughs> and ladder. <laughs> I will play it for years. I haven't. Okay, let's see this one. Really, really pathetic story. A uh, 15 year old maid strangled a six month old baby to death and says, I donated him to my witchcraft coven. Uh, in the report I played in the news this morning, she argued that she didn't physically kill the baby. There was something spiritual because she's a part of a cult and they now asked you, her to now, bring the now, blood now, of now the now baby. So, the according, uh, this story says that strangling to death, but she didn't strangle. She said she was, uh, she. Use her spiritual power to strangle the baby. And she said, I used witchcraft to kill the baby. When I was in primary school during break time, one of my friends gave, I can imagine the woman, and I said, mm hmm, check, go. Baba, I said, oh, you remember that guy? Fool, He says, I used witchcraft to kill the baby. When I was in primary school during break time, one of my friends gave me a packet of biscuit and a drink. At night, I found myself in Ugulama witchcraft coven, and they welcomed me. I left my village in Agulu for Lagos to work as a nanny in one of my uncle's home. Before leaving the village, I was told to donate blood to the governor as they go to Lagos or put blood down. He said she begged them to give me another assignment. And so she said the, that she should be making people sad. He says on March... F did I just say that? I forgot I was on it. On March 5, <laughs> 2022, members of the governor appeared to me and said they wanted the child I came to take care of. I begged them to leave me alone, but they said they would use my life as ransom for the baby. So they gave me a bowl that I should call the baby's name four times. When I did, blood appeared in the bowl and the baby died. The baby was donated to Ogolama Witchcraft Coven. And so I said, anytime I want to go to church, my members would make me so weak that I would remain at home. Now listen. Her arrest, according to the Lagos State Police Command, mm -hmm. eh? who paraded the suspect alongside others, followed a report. They didn't say she was arrested because of murder. Followed a report by her mistress. Meaning, this is one case that I would love to see to, to the end. Mm. How do you charge somebody Someone for witchcraft? For witchcraft. Because witchcraft is not recognized by law. Apart from that, the lawyer could say she's not in a good mental state. End of story. If I were her lawyer, that's... I just go along that line because all these that things she's, she's saying now that she's hallucinating, hallucinating and she's this is that since she didn't strangle the baby physically these are part of the dilemma we have 
in our lives today where we don't face certain realities and find ways around them. We keep sweeping them under the carpet. Okay? We keep sweeping them. She has confessed to this and that. Under what law now are you going to charge, charge her? her? The lawyer would, a smart lawyer, we we'll just say that, well, I, I don't think her mental state is okay. So we don't know about the autopsy for the baby yet. If, if she was, if the baby was physically strangled. Apparently but, she wasn't. Uh, so, I mean. How because we, the, how because the policeman her? picked his words. Yeah. He didn't say she was arrested. He said, so following a report, report by her mistress. That the mistress came to report to us that this is what happened. That the baby had died. That the baby that and, and died and was killed by this girl by through witchcraft. But, but you, you can't prove it in court. And also, right. there's also something called uh, sudden baby death syndrome. Oh, that happens. When a baby, you know... Oh, that uh -huh. happens. So, I mean... Caught death. Yes. Yes, so, that happens. Caught, caught death, death yes. yes. I mean, even human beings can die on the bed. Yes. It could be just from coughing alone... Uh, 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 in the uh, wrong uh, position. And the saliva just goes... Yeah. Out. Yes. Uh, I think that's why they say you should sleep on your side. You shouldn't sleep on your back. Or something uh, like that. If you are a back sleeper, you will roll over. <laughs> just sleeping. Oh, goodness. Our time's gone. <laughs> ah, we didn't talk about uh, Obaseki and Wiki's uh, Bass and Bows. Uh, no, those are those are two. The, the two things will go back. Especially Wiki. Um, well, I, I hear that he wants to run for presidency. Good luck to Nigeria. I mean, he's a bit temperamental. <laughs> uh, um, he's, yeah, he's a bit temperamental and he's like a loose cannon. He's definitely not presidential material, if you ask me. A president should be subdued and calm. And, um, you know, there's something about his countenance that I can't, let me be honest with you, I can't explain it, but I can't say it on air. The two of them should just be, try and grow up and be mature. The deputy governor has a point. They've not been well absorbed into the PDP. What's wrong in saying that? Then you go to say, Obaseki brought his wife to beg you and brought this and that. And I'm just so disappointed. We need to go now. This is what I actually did he to because my name is in front of this story. Where is your name there? No, no, not not. Ari, <laughs> <let me see. laughs> Study ties, skipping breakfast, dementia risk. Oh I yes, I know they took chop like that. Ah no, I took as soon as I saw, I took a cereal this morning. Immediately, ago, I, left, so, I, I need to go know, buy my pack of cereal by. immediately. No wonder sometimes you look at me funny. I don't want to go to <laughs> on this note you did not hear that he did not say that no oh, my dear. all right after the news on the hour the commissioner for information joins me let's talk about the nertw what's the government's plan uh the ministry is back at nine o'clock on daily digest this is the morning crossfire then go away <laughs> Ninety-nine point three Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info ninety-nine point three. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. Ninety-nine point three Nigeria Info. Let's talk.